Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, December 3rd, and it's a great day to be great. So please stand. And let's begin this day in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. For all the intentions of your sacred heart, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. In reparation for my sins, for the intentions of our associates, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We continue to pray for all those on our parish sick list and all those in need of our prayers today. We, of course, also want to keep in our prayers a few special intentions that sink really great, and also the healthcare officials, our government officials, our military, our first responders, our frontline responders, all those who are working to keep us safe. We ask that their guardian angels be with them and our guardian angels be with us. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide, amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Bully Free Pledge. Bullying is not allowed in my school. I will not hit, shove, kick, or punch anyone or anything. I will not tease, call names, or put people down. I will not gossip or spread rumors. If I see someone being bullied, I will speak up and seek help. I will treat everyone with respect and kindness. I will not be a bully. All right, folks, grab a seat. Get settled into your workspace for the day and just a couple quick things. Um, so, as far as an updates with the basketball updates with the basketball tournament, uh, so our girls are on for tomorrow evening, Friday night, into the championship round, and I believe their game starts at 7 p.m. Boys, you are on for tonight at I believe 6 p.m. over in Savannah. Um, we'll take a look at the brackets this morning once we get into the school, the updated ones that will be coming out. Uh, but unfortunately, the boys took a loss last night. That's all right. We get them next time. Uh, tonight is that time to go ahead and get them. So boys are on for this evening, six o'clock. So again, um, we appreciate all of your support from a distance, knowing that they're only allowing so many folks into the gym, especially those who are just a part of the core group of parents, players, and coaches. So good luck to our boys team this evening. Um, and we'll go from there. So we'll put up the brackets onto our social media here in just a bit as well. Um, uh, chapel this morning the link for our virtual learners has already gone out so you can go ahead and join us this morning again it, zoom only allows me to set them up in half hour increments so we won't really get started until about 8 45 when the students start filtering in so I'll go ahead and get that started right around that time so just pay attention to your time frame and then we'll get you joined in as soon as possible um, chapel and then we'll go right into uh, of course mass then for Friday and I'll go over all that uh, with you all when we get into chapel this morning. The other thing too is that we are going to Mass next Tuesday, December 8th. It's the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. It's a holy day of obligation. So we'll be going to Mass, of course, tomorrow, Friday. We'll be going to Mass next Tuesday, December 8th, but we will not be going to Mass on Friday, December 11th. Okay, so make that adjustment into your schedule and into your calendars. And of course, we will send out as many reminders as we can for you all to wear your full dress uniform, not only tomorrow, but also the then next Tuesday. Uh, and then finally, just a quick note in terms of lunches. You know, your parents spend an awful lot of money and they also spend an awful lot of time making your lunches. What is very disappointing, what is very discouraging to see, and again, some of our maintenance guys have made note of this. I, being outside uh, with lunch recess for fifth and sixth graders, have noticed this here recently in particular, is the way that we are treating our food. Uh, there are many people who are going without. They went without during Thanksgiving. They're going without during Christmas, into the new year. They don't have all the things that you have. So it's very discouraging when we see full packages, not even opened, of food that you don't want to eat, that you've thrown away. So here's what we're going to do. You have two options. 
The first option is, is to go ahead and leave that in your lunchbox. And then when you get home, please tell mom or dad that it is something that you don't enjoy and, or that you just didn't want that day and repack it for the next day and leave it in your lunchbox and then go from there. The other item or other uh, option that you have is then to turn that into your homeroom teacher. And then we can start a collection bin in the front office of things that we can send either over to the St. Francis Center or to Bluffton Self-Help. But I do not want to see full packages, not even opened. Now, if you've opened it and you don't like it, that's a different story. But if, you've op if you have not even opened it and you're throwing it away, then that is, that is a major problem that we need to stop. And we need to stop it right now because, like I said, there are people who are going without. So make better choices. Do not be throwing food away. Got it? Got it. Okay. All right, folks. I will see you all at chapel in just a bit. Have a great day. Be good. See you soon. God bless you.